Welcome to the 8th grade math homework helper series. Tonight's homework is AA4, adjacent angles. We'll start by reviewing what an adjacent angle is. Adjacent angles are angles that have the same vertex and share one ray. They do not share space inside the angles. The word adjacent simply means next to. So if you look at the example, we have angle ADB and angle DBC as adjacent angles. And the reason that they're adjacent is because they share the same ray, ray DB, and they also share the same vertex, the center point for each of the angles, which is D. Now if we take ADB and compare that to angle ADC, you can see there's overlapping that occurs. They do have the same vertex, but they're not sharing the same ray. They overlap. And when you overlap, you can't be an adjacent angle. So both things have to be true. Okay, for each diagram below, name the adjacent angle. So for number four, we have PQR, which is right here, PQR, and it's adjacent to VQR or RQV. And the reason why you could do that either way, okay, we have PQR, Q is going to be our vertex that's shared between both angles, and QR is going to be the ray that's shared between both angles. Now I can start by naming it from the V, put the Q in the middle and go to the R, or I can start by naming it from the R, put the Q in the middle and go to the V. The only thing that has to happen is the Q has to be in the middle because the Q is the vertex and the vertex is always listed in the center when you list the three parts of an angle. Moving to number seven, we have angles DCF, DCF, is adjacent to angle, well it would be either FCG or GCF. C has to be the vertex because it is the center of the original angle that we started with. And if we move on to number eight, we have angle JKL, JKL, and that is adjacent to angle LKM or MKL. Again, K is the vertex, so it has to be in the center no matter which way you choose to list it. Next, we have this diagram with a whole variety of different kinds of angles. And we need to use that diagram to name an angle that is both adjacent and supplementary to a given angle. So adjacent means next to, supplementary means that that angle, this angle that we're given and the other ones that we name will create a 180 degree line. So we have JPM, JPM. So what has to be true about all the rest of the angles that we say is that they have to have P as a vertex and they have to work off the bottom of this line to create 180 degrees. So that would be MPH, MPE, or MPT. And I didn't do the reverses of this because it would just be too much, but you could obviously have MHP or MPH and HM, HPM if you wanted to do it that way. Okay, so why do these work? MPH, well, we're working with JPM, so M, P, our vertex is still P, and H creates a 180 degree line, so it is supplementary. We could also do M, P, E, move on beyond H. And we could do M, P, T, moving all the way out to here. Either way, this angle, and whatever of the angles we choose out this way are going to keep that 180 degrees. Then we have angle TES. So here's T, here's E, and here's S. So we're working off the top of this line now and any angle that has E as a vertex and keeps this straight line running can work. And as you can see from the extended box there's quite a few. So we have SEH, SEP, SE J. We also can come up here from the R and do R E H, R E P, and R E J. They would all work with E being the vertex for those particular angles and creating a 180 degree straight line angle. Next we have Q S R. Q S R. And what would work with that? Well, we have RSH, RSH, that would enable the 180 degrees to form on this line. 
or we have Q S E which would enable the 180 degrees to come from this side then we have GHS GHS so because this sits in the middle we can go to either side and create a 180 degree angle so we have SHK so from GHS we have S H and then K and here we make a straight line right down through here so we have this angle and this angle to make a straight line then we have JHA J H A and we could do A H E because this and this would make the straight line or we could do A H T which also enables the straight line 180 degree line the next angle that we're given is SHJ SHJ so we have an obtuse angle here and so the other side of that is going to be an acute angle on this side which would be S H E or S H T you extend it out to there but together they would create 180 degrees then we have HPM H P M connected with M P J and that would make 180 degrees between this angle right here and this angle right here and we have K H A K H A so it would have to be this angle right here connected with that that would make 180 degrees and it's a H G and our last angle is S H E S H E so it's this right here and so we would that's an, uh, an acute angle we would need an obtuse angle from this side so it's going to be S H P or we could go all the way down to SH move past P and go to J please use the work that was done for you tonight to help you to solve the additional problems that are on your homework and remember the key to success in math is not only working hard but working smart